Servus Männer, it's Red Bull Germany again. Now I want to talk about another interesting piece of the puzzle, another mosaic stone from the um, yeah, drama that is the economic situation of Germany at the end of a 10 year boom time. Yeah, we had an economic boom, really good times for 10 years now. And uh, looking back on that, we have to ask, where is the money gone? What did we do with it? Yeah, our infrastructure is really uh, outdated. Yeah, we need a lot of um, investment in our infrastructure, which, which probably will not happen in the coming future because there is no money. Yeah, we just had a record tax revenue for the federal government or for uh, the state level um, or for Germany in general, record tax payments. Never in the history of Germany before were so many taxes paid to our state. But the coffers are empty or well, they're not really empty. They're just going to other people, but not to the Germans. So what do I want to talk about today? The one of the leaders of the Social Democratic Party, there are two of them. There is Mr. Walter Borjans and Frau Esken. But uh, now it is about the yeah, man uh, of this duo. Uh, what did he say? He said he urged or he demanded the federal um, level in Germany, yeah, the, the, the state, in, to um, bail out the German communities who are in debt. So that means the federal level in Germany, uh, the Bundesregierung, uh, they should, um, with direct tax-funded payments, they should take over the debt of German small towns, cities, and so on, German communities. Um, why is that? Well, because they are deep in the red. They are in debt. How can that be? How I mean, with the economic boom and all, shouldn't they also have received a lot of tax income? Well, first of all, um, not every city has factories or big business there, so their tax revenue varies from town to town. And there are also certain, how should I say that, uh, certain obligations that the communities have in Germany. And that is, for example, the... Um, housing costs for our dear newcomers yeah? that has to be paid for or provided for by the German communities not by the federal level not by the state but by the community and yeah we took over yeah, 1.7 to 5 million people depending on where you set the threshold I mean since 2015 Officially, 1.7 million came. If you say we start re the reckoning or the accounting with the 90s uh, and a lot of these people are still not uh, contributing here, they never will and their children probably never will. So imagine, imagine a three to four star hotel with five million guests. But the hotel says, oh, you know, you don't need to pay us. We... You know, the buffet is open, you can stay as long as you like and uh, we make your beds every morning, but you don't have to pay us a cent. It's all good. It's all on us, you know. This is what Germany is. Yeah, Everyone can just walk in and be taken care of. And the housing part of it, you know, there are other payments they receive that, and these payments are taken over by other parts of our um, country, of our state. But the housing costs, that falls on the community level. And this is one of the reasons why so many communities are deep in the red. They are heavily in debt. And um, that is why Mr. Boyans from the Social Democratic Party now urges the federal level, that is Angela Merkel, to bail them out. And what would that mean? That would mean that oh, it is just easier, I think, for the federal level to increase taxes. So... Uh, huge um, tax uh, raises would be needed, uh, raising the tax probably after the election next year yeah, uh, in order to bail out these indebted communities who, 
who yeah, in many, many cases are not in debt on their own fault, but as I said, because they have to play um, a yeah, hotel <laughs> for all these travelers yeah, who don't want to pay. That is the situation right now. And uh, this is just how they kind of want to hide the fact that the cost that these people are producing are running out of control. And um, they, uh, some of these costs are visible here, some of them are visible there, but uh, overall they try to hide that from the people by, how should I say, by diversifying that. Yeah? So you, you don't see the overall number, you just see, oh, the communities are in debt, oh, why is that? Oh, the, the federal level received so many tax payments recently, but they didn't... Uh, uh, invested in the infrastructure why is that you know there are all these different levels of state there are all these different accounts all these different elements all these different pockets and it is made it is constructed in a way that the voter in the end the citizen cannot connect the dots he doesn't see the full picture he and and everyone is telling him oh we're not going to take anything away from you we're not going to um, hurt you yeah your payments will not go up oh your benefits will still stay the same of course they act as if nothing will change but in reality we all know that it has to change i mean there are all these new costs and uh, at at some point we will see the effects of that and it is the big illusion to 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 sell this lie to people that you can have something out of nothing that if we just um, give everything uh, our money and our and the control and the power if we hand everything over to the state that somehow in the end everybody will have more than what they put in first but of course when the state does things you always get less you always get less because there are friction losses and it is um the public systems are intrinsically um, in ineffective, so you always get way, 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 way less than you put in. But they want to sell you the illusion that by magic you get out more than you put in. And this is just one more very, very treacherous, very, very deceiving part here where they house all these strangers from distant lands, but they tell the German people, and they literally say that, Niemandem wird etwas weggenommen. We will not take anything away from anybody. Haha. -ha. And then in the next year they say, oh, right, we have to raise your taxes. Oh, by the way, you cannot see a specialist anymore when you have some, some ill or some disease. No, you have to go to the, to the general practitioner and he just gives you pain meds then. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, of course, uh, things will change. Of course, we will have less in the future. Yeah. In all these public um, services, these social security, um, yeah, welfare services, the um, benefits for the Germans will go down and their payments will go up. Their, their, their salaries will stagnate. And as I said in my previous video, the lone Nebenkosten, that, is, that, that means uh, what the state takes away uh, right away before you even see a cent, um, so that means after taxes, after social programs, what ends up in your bank account, this money will become less and less and less. And what I talked about now is just a further chapter, just a, a, a little piece of the puzzle in addition, and that is that our communities are bankrupt, and now the leftists are saying that the federal level with direct tax payments have to bail them out so that the show goes on for just maybe one more year until the election comes in next autumn. Yeah? So maybe now you have one little piece of the puzzle more in order to understand the absurdity, yeah, the, the monstrosity that is uh, the German state at the moment. Yeah? It is a gang of thugs that steals money from Germans and gives it to non-Germans. That is the function of the German state in a nutshell at the moment. And of course, many people have said that before. I'm not the first to say it. I have said it also before. Um, you can either have a welfare state or open borders. 
you cannot have both. You can never have both. And that just shows this very, very impressively once more. I hope you catch my next video also. I hope you're doing well. Servus, Kameraden.